Largemouth bass is a species of fish in the sunfish family. It is also known as the black bass, Oswego bass, green trout, big mouth bass, line side bass, or bucket mouth bass. The large mouth is marked by a series of dark, sometimes black blotches forming a jagged horizontal stripe along each flank. The upper jaw of the large mouth bass extends beyond the rear margin of the eye socket. The large mouth is the largest of black basses, reaching a maximum record overall length of 38 inches and a maximum record weight of 22 and a quarter pounds. The fish can live as long as 23 years. The young large mouth bass consumes mostly plankton and insects. Adults consume smaller fish, crawfish, and frogs. In larger lakes, adult bass occupy deeper water than younger fish and shift to a diet consisting almost entirely of smaller fish like trout, shiners, and sunfish. Prey can be as large as 25 to 35 percent of the bass's body length. Under overhead covers such as overhanging banks, brush, or submerged structures such as weed beds and drop-offs, the largemouth bass will use its senses of smell, sight, vibration, and hearing to attack and seize its prey. Spawning occurs in shallow areas of lakes and ponds in the, young, in the spring. At water temperatures of about 18 to 22 degrees, males arrive first, selecting a territory on fine gravel, coarse sand, or amongst sparse vegetation. The male will slightly clear using his fins, a shallow depression into which he will entice a female to deposit her eggs. Females can lay up to a million eggs during each season. The male guards the embryos until the larvae have hatched and then will continue to guard the eggs until they disperse from the nest. During the guarding period, the male ferociously attacks any potential predators that approach too closely. I'm here in Lake Katawachi with a semi-professional fisherman, Chad LeBlanc. He's going to give us an interview on uh, some fish. Now tell me, Chad, uh, where is a good place that fish like to live in the water? Well, right now we're doing some bass fishing, and if you look over here to our left a little bit, we've got a little structure right here. We're at the season right now where bass are spawning a lot, and what they do, they stay around these structured areas. They just go down to the bottom so where they lay their eggs, and they're pretty protective of their eggs right now. So if you're fishing in these areas, and we got a couple of lures actually that we was using today, what do they like to eat? Um, what, a, what we're throwing here, we got some spinner baits that have been thrown, and you just pull them across the top, and the bass are extra aggressive right now trying to protect their eggs, so it's really a good bait to throw right now. Uh, outside of the structured areas, if you look over here to our right, oh, we got all these pollens in the water, those are all grass beds. And even inside those grass beds, that's where they pretty much do most of their spawn in either structured area or grass beds, trying to protect them. So you say uh, during their spawning season is the best time to uh, catch them? Uh, for, for bass fishing, I ain't gonna say it's the best time to catch them, but it's probably the best time when they're the most aggressive. Uh, they have a reason trying to protect their eggs, so they're a lot more aggressive. They're actually a little bit easier to catch because bass is one of the tougher fish to catch. And uh, what's the difference with these uh, with uh, saltwater fish like trout? Right well, fish? we're really lucky down here in Louisiana, the area we're fishing, we're pretty lucky because this is called brackish water. And being brackish, it has both fresh water and salt water. If you was in strictly fresh water, you can bass fish in that, but you wouldn't be able to catch any trout or redfish. Being in brackish water, you know, we're very diverse in Louisiana. We get the fish in water like this. You can catch bass, redfish, uh, speckled trout, flounder, all in the same area. You know, it's very, it happens pretty occasional for people that are fishing in this area. Thank you so much. are appendages used by the fish to maintain its position, move, steer, and stop. They are either single fins along the center line of the fish, such as the dorsal fins, caudal fin, and the anal fin, or paired fins, which include the pectoral and pelvic fins. The dorsal and anal fins primarily help fish not to roll over onto their sides. The caudal fin is the main fin for propulsion to move the fish forward. The paired fin assists with steering, stopping, and hovering. Bass and most other fish with spines have setenoid scales composed of connective tissue covered with calcium. Most fish also have a very important mucus layer covering the body that helps prevent infection. The gills are the breathing apparatus of fish and are highly vascularized, giving them their bright red color. A gill cover that is a flexible bony plate protects the sensitive gills. Water is inhaled through the mouth, passes over the gills, and exhaled from beneath the gill cover. The swim bladder is a hollow, gas-filled, balanced organ that allows a fish to conserve energy by maintaining neutral buoyancy in the water. 
Fish caught from very deep water sometimes need to have air released from their swim bladder before they can re be released and returned to deep water due to the difference in atmospheric pressure at the water surface. The line is one of the fish's primary sense organs, detects underwater vibration, and is capable of determining the direction of their source. Fish's kidney filters liquid waste materials from the blood, then wastes are passed out of the body. Kidney is also extremely important in regulating water and salt concentrations within the fish's body, allowing certain fish species to exist in fresh water or salt water, in some cases both. Like humans, a fish's stomach and intestines digest food and absorb nutrients. Fish that eat other fish have short intestines because such food is easy to chemically break down and digest. Fish that eat plants require longer intestines because plant matter is usually tough and fibrous, more difficult to break down into usable components. A great deal about fish feeding habits can be determined by examining stomach contents. When fish expose waste, they use an anus just like humans called the vent. The fish's liver, fish's liver is an important organ that has a number of functions. It assists in digestion by secreting enzymes that break down fats, and also serves as a storage area for fats and carbohydrates. The liver also is important in the destruction of old blood cells in maintaining proper blood chemistry, as well as playing a role in waste disposal. Just like humans, fish use a heart to circulate blood throughout the body. Oxygen and digested nutrients are delivered to the cells of various organs through the blood. We have a largemouth bass that we caught. It's called the largemouth because of its very large mouth that it opens up. The jaw extends very wide to eat all of its uh, favorite foods like worms, smaller minnows, grubs, etc. Towards the bottom of the bass is a yellow whitish color. And then they have what's called the lateral line. It's this green line down the side of it. And up towards the top it's a darker green. This right here is the uh, peculum or the gill cover, which keeps its gills that it uses to breathe uh, clean. The back fin or tail fin is called the caudal fin. It helps the fish move. It propels the fish. To balance, the fish uses uh, pelvic fins and an anal fin. And to keep himself straight, he has a soft dorsal in the back and a spiny dorsal in the front. And to steer, the fish uses its pectoral fins. We have a uh, female bass we found because right here this yellow is an egg sack full of young fish eggs. Towards the bottom there's this dark purple colored organ called the liver. Found the stomach and there's something in it. Looks like some grub he was eating on underneath. Towards the other side is the, the large and small intestines. The large being this black color and the small being these stream colors. Over here is something only fish have in water animals. This is this small clear is the uh, air bladder and this darker color is the gallbladder. Fish fills his air bladder up and uses it to stay afloat. Here's the spinal cord which is the main vertebrae of like any other animal and it keeps the animal uh, stable.